20 lives. Bet you doesn't even mention that we put out the blaze before they even got there. The episode immediately starts with Mitch complaining about ungrateful firefighters. Good stuff. That's when they spot a dog in the water. We meet again, Nemesis! Wait a second, this is a chance to go shirtless! I'm gonna kill it with my bare hands! Oh? This dog is nearly indestructible! Maybe we can smother it with some blankets or something. It's amazing he's still alive. He won't be for long. Meanwhile, Shawnee and Eddie are hanging out on Eddie's houseboat. You object to your girlfriend flirting with other guys. Never, sometimes, always. Sometimes. Sometimes. Most of the time. Fine, always, always. Okay, so I'm gonna stop the episode for another Baywatch history lesson. And this one is a bit on the gossipy side, but I think it's worth noting since it makes some of the Eddie and Shawnee stuff uncomfortable. Erica Aliniak and Billy Warlock started dating and became engaged during the production of the show, and Billy Warlock was the kind of jealous boyfriend who didn't like seeing other people looking at his girl. He even said in an interview that he can't bear anyone else to see her body, so I think there's probably some credence to this story. Erica Aliniak, as you might recall, was previously known for doing a spread in Playboy magazine, so you might see where some conflicts come into play here. Thus, the show made some concessions on Shawnee's outfits, which which is why sometimes she's wearing shorts over the bathing suit or cover-ups like in this scene. In case you might have guessed, the relationship didn't really work out. Anywho, all of this is sort of maybe why the two of them ended up leaving the show, among other such reasons as pursuing film careers, artistic differences, contract disputes, and the show just wasn't very good. To bring things back to my original point, Eddie's creepy possessiveness of Shawnee is actually kind of real. So awkward. Anyway, in this episode, Shawnee and Eddie score badly on a compatibility test and take some time apart due to their differences. Meanwhile, Mitch continues in his efforts to get rid of this dog. Poison will surely do you in! <laughs> get off of me, you damn dog! Don't ever give George a compatibility test, huh? Don't project your relationship issues onto your fish, Eddie. So he calls an answering service to get his phone messages, and apparently the only requirement for working there is to pretend you're constantly on the verge of an orgasm. It sounds so sexy. The sunlight off the waves. Cool breeze. Enjoy it, Eddie. Bye. <gasps> no! She finally realized that every single guy would be a better boyfriend than me! Luckily, this guy seems to be Australian but incompetent. I think I'm gonna like it here. You wouldn't want to keep Derek waiting. Man, it's cold. Why don't you uh, watch yourself, huh? Eddie, you asshole. Is it dead yet? I don't know about you, but I could go for a nice cold glass of Charles Barkley. So in case Eddie hasn't convinced you yet that he's a creepy little dickhead, he calls up the answering service lady for a date, spies on Shawnee at her tower and gets jealous of the guy she's working with, calls her and seems to take pleasure in hurting her feelings, and then when the answering woman shows up and turns out to be overweight, this is an issue for him. Because it'd be totally cool to cheat on your girlfriend if the woman was traditionally attractive, but now everything is ruined! Ew, a fat person! That's even worse than a homeless person! I'm the show sex symbol! Eddie feels bad and realizes that she just might be a person too. Looks like this is a classic case of the one episode pity date. Everyone is beautiful inside and out, but you're not showing up in the series again. And seeing as how Baywatch had it in their contracts how much the actresses were allowed to weigh, you know this is the perfect venue to teach us to love our bodies. Now I can get back to my favorite pastime, eating meat! Don't you fucking dare, you piss drinker! Sweet, sexy hamburgers. Mitch has got the fireplace going. You know he's gonna get laid. If only that damn dog wasn't ruining his life. I hear you, sweetheart. Yeah. You haven't even begun to know the meaning of being dog. And when I'm through with you, you'll be begging for the sweet release of death. Mm -hmm. Tequila and Benetti will be right back, folks. Then he steals Mitch's date. Oh, man. Watch as Mitch follows her like friggin' Nosferatu. <laughs> he continues his transformation into Daffy Duck. Thanks a lot, dog. How pull breath? <sighs> Must kill dog. You locked me in and didn't even leave the toilet seat up. 
I gave you pizza. I gave you rice cakes. You haven't even touched your raisin cookies. You tried to feed him raisin cookies? Raisins could kill a dog. Now I know he's attempting to murder him. What follows is Mitch's slow descent into dog-related insanity. I should have let him drown. What is it? What do you want? What is the story? I swear you're trying to piss me off. See you, homeboy. I'm gonna go find a burrito. Even in the wake of complete canine madness, they still managed to fit some dominoes in there. <laughs> the curse is yours now! <laughs> Garner chasing a dog montage! Hilarious. This is possibly the best montage the show has produced yet. Okay, how did he even do that? And the dog was finally killed by this old man. You should know this episode is also about drugs. Eddie's new girlfriend is taking weight loss pills, which apparently makes her wander into the forget how to swim zone. Shawnee convinces her that diet pills are bad, giving the woman a chance to do a heart-wrenching monologue about growing up being teased about her weight. But don't worry, Shawnee had a bad time in school too because she had lots of dates, but didn't know if they loved her for who she was. Same thing! Horrible self-image issues shattered. But then I met someone who believed in me, in me, for who I am on the inside. And he helped me believe in myself. Hold up, are you talking about Eddie? The little shitball who's trying to make you jealous with this woman? This guy? Is that person Eddie? Yeah. He's a really terrific guy. No, he isn't! He played you both! What is wrong with you people? Eddie, I'm really sorry. I hope you can forgive me. Dodger tickets, right behind the dugout, tonight. This is not a healthy relationship! Ah! Oh, and also, it turns out the dog belonged to a kidnapped woman and helps Garner, Mitch, and Shippy catch the criminals via a boat shootout. W what? Next time on Baywatch, Eddie is in hot water again. Meanwhile, marine biologist drama. Watch out! You got to reach out.